Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to cover how to hook your Everlast Power Plasma 82i up to your Langmare Systems Crossfire Pro. So I get this question quite often, so I decided, you know, I was going to wait till I did an in-depth review of this, which I do plan to do in the future, but for now, I'm just going to cover how you hook it up. So the uh, Power Plasma 82i comes with a connector right there and basically i'm running the raw voltage um i find it has the best performance um so i've got those hooked into here and then i've got the trigger going over just like you would um your razor weld um now this has very small pins so you're going to need a decent um soldering station to solder those super tiny pins. Um, the pins that I used are, now this, when you buy it, this is the manual um, that comes with it, instruction manual. Um, so I hooked the trigger up to pins one and two, and then you can see here, hopefully if I stop shaking, um, pins five and seven is the, uh, the raw arc voltage. Now, if you want to do divided voltage, you can, but I tried that, and I feel like the raw voltage um, has less fluctuation, and I just prefer it. So, those are pins 5 and pins 7. Now, it tells you, you know, positive and negative. Um, it says pin 7 is the negative, and pin 5 is a positive. Now, I can't tell you... If the clamp or the torch is positive or negative, I, I'm I'm sorry, um, but I'm not sure which is which. I know the first time I hooked it up and I had it wrong um, on the connector as far as uh, five and seven. So I just flipped it opposite on the little torch height controller box, right? Um, and then it still didn't work. Then I realized um, my laptop, um, the charger was plugged in, and that was grounding out the torch height controller and getting me zero volts. And when I would do the torch height controller test, so I broke the ground prong off of my laptop charger, and all of a sudden everything worked great. Um, I was then reading you know, voltage um, on the the voltage test through fire control. So there's a couple things to check. If you hook it up, like it says here, and you're reading zero volts, unplug your laptop charger first. If you're still getting zero volts, swap the positive and negative. I wouldn't do it here because it's a pain to resolder it. I would just flip it um, where you plug it into your torch eye controller. I would just flip those, okay? alternate that um once you do all those um uh, it should work perfect um at some point i tested out just hooking straight like you can see i got two little wire nuts and some pigtails coming out don't do that um i did that and the everlast engineers were like do not do that you avoid your warranty um so don't do that um i can confirm that when i did that and this I got the same numbers. So there's no point in doing that, risking your warranty, when this gives you the same thing. Now, when I did the um, voltage test in fire control, um, it gave me a, a message saying that, you know, my voltage is low and it'll still work, but it says it's low and it makes it sound like an error. Okay, I, I gave Everlast... The, the voltage numbers that I was getting, and they said, that's not an error. That's how they designed it. Um, so it's not an error. Um, if you do your torch height control, you know, voltage test, and it says, you know, low voltage, but it'll still work. It's not low. It's what they designed it to work as, and it still cuts amazing. So, you know, I've cut half inch um, with my 82i. Let me show you some parts that I cut. Um... So right here, this is a part that was cut um, on my Everlast 
82i. This is a half inch part, and you can see there's basically zero bevel. Super good, and I actually have laser cut versions right here. Um, when you do laser, you know, that's the fin uh, cut quality from a laser cut part. And this is the cut quality from my Everlast Power Plasma 82i. So, um, honestly, the 82i is amazing. Um, if you're considering it, I'm here to tell you, I'm in love with this thing. It works really, really great. Um, it comes with 1.2 millimeter consumables. Um, those are for 60 to 70 amps if you want to run the full 85 amps you have to get the 1.3 millimeter tips if you want to go all the way down to you know 30 amps they have 0.9 millimeter tips so they have lots of different tips that come with this um also i do have a video on how to make your own torch holder mine has an x um, laser system there's uh, build plans on my website for that torch holder um Overall, I really love this plasma cutter. I am going to do an actual in-depth review of it in the future. Um, so far, I've had it for a couple months, and I've cut, I don't know, $4,000 of product with it. So it's uh, rock solid. This thing is super consistent. Um, if you're in the market for a new plasma for your CNC table, check this out. I've got a link to the uh, in the description of this video. I am a Neverlast affiliate. Um, but I, w I bought this, uh, uh, and I paid 1500 bucks for that despite being, um, an affiliate. So I have put my money where my mouth is and, um, I'm happy that I did. So thanks guys. If you have any other questions about the Everlast Power Plasma 82i, leave them in the comment section below. Check the description of this video for links.